In activity 212, I'll demonstrate how to specify criteria using a field not displayed in the query results. Make sure that all of your objects are closed. And go to the Create tab, Query Design. Add the Instructors table. Close the Show table. Expand the object so we can see everything. And let's get the Instructor ID, first name, last name, rank. Let's sort the last name ascending. Let's run the query. Now notice we have these four fields and we have all of the records coming from the table. We have 34 records. Now what I want to show you is how to uh, narrow that down by specifying a text criteria. So here under rank in criteria we'll put professor. I'll hit enter it's surrounded by double quotes. I'll run it again and now I've limited the number of rows selected to 19 from 34 and I selected only rows where the rank equaled professor. Also notice that this was case insensitive because I typed professor with a lowercase p yet it matched professor with an uppercase p. And lastly now uh, I want to show you how to uncheck the show box so that the rank doesn't display, though it's still used to select just the professor records. So I'll run this. Now we don't see the fourth column, yet it selected only those 19 professor records and still sorted by last name. Now let's save this off using the familiar last name, first name, 2A, professors, rank, query, OK, and let's go ahead and double click that, file, print, print preview, and let's print that out. Select the cute PDF writer or whatever PDF writer you have. It selects the right name for us, saves it in documents. I'll close the print preview and I'll close the object and that's the end of this lesson.